I've just finished mowing this area. As you can see, it's very bumpy, very mossy grass. Not the nicest, but we didn't take a thick area off it. We just did a, you know, a top cut, get it all even again. Now we've got a lower tier area. I don't know if you can see the lights, it's D8 you can. So if I just fire her up, we've got two, two lights left on each battery just from doing what is probably maybe 60 square meters got that bit down there which is probably another 80 square meters and the hump we'll see where we are at the end of it wow Dave's just being noisy we're down to one bar on each battery and we have been for a couple of minutes we just mowed the hump combined probably about 40 square meters so the top two, that's 100 square meters. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, yeah, roughly. Maybe 30. Uh, and we got this left to do, which would put it to maybe 120 square meters, 140. The five amps aren't gonna get us there, I don't think. And it's gone. So we did probably about another square meters. Let's see, all the way around this area. Along, whoop, along the edge and this area and there the batteries are gone so maximum I would say is 120 square meters and I reckon I'm miscalculating I'm being over generous I reckon 100 if I'm being honest what was funny though it seemed to cut about another 10 square meters saying it had no charge left on the indicators so it gives you a bit of a warning I suppose maybe that's a bit of a freak occurrence but it said I had no battery left and it was still going so keep going until it dies like I did. The other thing is I'm not putting much load on the weight of this mower. I'm not, it's pretty, I'd say that's running without load because we're not doing deep grass, it's just tufts and it doesn't seem to struggle through it. Um, and the bag's emptied regularly. So really, 100 square meters if you're a domestic gardener, you like doing your own and you've got a fairly medium sized lawn, perfect, but if you're gonna be commercial use you're gonna to have to prepare, be prepared to buy a lot of extra batteries so those are the five amps nine amps should give us a lot more but I don't even think it gives us double even though they're supposed to run at 40% more than standard ampage so, or amp power no. cool so another little update is I refuse to believe that they were empty batteries I gave it five minutes let them cool down because they do get warm and let me cut maybe another 10 square centimetres. Centimetres. <laughs> Metres, sorry. Uh, so what's the problem there? Why is it cut off, then work, then cut off, and that is because they're overheated. If DeWalt had have just attached a little secondary fan in there, it doesn't even have to be powered, it can be attached to the mechanism to blow some air through this little box here. We might have been able to uh, combat that. Obviously they're worried about water getting in, so that's why it's sealed, because it's good to have it sealed. But then uh, maybe some vents you can open when you know you haven't got that worry to let air pass through it. Uh, I've got the bad boys in there, the nine amp hour flex vault ones, which munch through it. And I've also got a theory about why Calculation-wise, these should give me double the sort of runtime, but they don't. They only give me maybe 50% more. And I think because you're putting a flex vault in, and it might be obvious to some people, 
you put the flex volts in, they run up to 54 volts. You use the 5 amp hour ones, the standard 5 amp hour ones, the maximum is 18 volts. And this mower does 36 volts, so that, that works with the 5 amp hour. But do the flex volts give a higher? Are they pumping it higher than I don't know how it works to be honest, so, but are they pumping a higher uh, voltage out? Even though it's 18, maybe it's you know two times 18, maybe it's not using that hole two times 18, and then it is when it's got the flex volts in, so it's got a higher load capacity, higher you know strength, and therefore it's working at a higher strength, and you you're getting better power but less runtime. Again, something would be it'd be good if there was a high and a low option that you could restrict it somehow. If you know you're only doing a light cut. You can check like you can with the strimmer, you can put it on the low setting, give yourself a longer run time. Whereas if you're doing heavy loads, you put it on a higher setter and it will get through it, but less run time. I hope that makes sense. So that's one garden done. I'd say overall 140 square meters. The flex volts would have done that no problem. Five amp hours. Not the, the flex volts are nine. The standard ones that come with a lot of it for the 399 mark are the fives. Domestic use are fine. If you just maintain it regularly, it's a pleasure, absolute pleasure to work with. But commercial use, jury's still out. I've got to see how many of these nine or even 12 amp hour batteries, which is 300 pounds each, 250 pounds each now. If you're going to do four or five of these gardens a day, you're going to need three sets minimum. So I'll update you as I go. See you later.